I guess I could say I've kind of fallen off my vlogmas. I was gonna post a video every day until Christmas Eve. However, I'm just starting to give myself grace. And I'm definitely still gonna post a minimum of 12 videos just between now and Christmas Eve um, in total. I think I've got six up already at the time of filming. Hopefully I should have more up now, but um, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, so I don't wanna say it's day da -da -da of Vlogmas because I have no idea what day it is. However, I wanted to come to you guys with a mini vlog, but before, sorry, sorry. Hi, hello, what's goody? My name's Meech. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, grateful to have you here. I wanted to do like a mini vlog today. Hopefully it's gonna be two parts just with uh everything that i've got going on but ultimately i have two of my girls coming over today we are going to paint i haven't painted in a long time like it's something that we've done together we used to do when we lived together and it's just like cute you know like a cute way to kind of just spend the holidays together so i invited the girls over i said let's let's do a charcuterie board let me make some mold wine i've got lots of paint stuff here so just come over let's paint i'm hoping we do something yeah very christmasy very snowy very like winter vibes first part of this vlog i wanted to show you the mold wine that i'm going to make so let's get into that this is not a flattering angle but i'm giving you this so to make my mold wine i feel like the light is shining directly on my head god help me i have a different lens on so it just feels a little wider on my camera but anyway i got the snoop dog 19 crimes cali red i've tasted this before i've had it like twice now i really like it it's really sweet i don't like red wine however i like this one it's really sweet very full bodied as they call it and it's got a high percentage so it's perfect for making mulled wine it's like 20 dollars in the lcbo but yeah, I really, really like it. Even like the packaging. And when you take the cork out, it's actually Snoop's face. So yeah, and it's got like his signature around it. But ultimately, you know, branding gets me. Branding really gets me. For brandy, I was gonna go Hennessy. Hennessy is brandy. It's just cognac. Cognac is just brandy made in the place. Cognac, a little uh, educational moment for you there. I got St. Remy. I don't think I've ever tried St. Remy. However, on the um, shelf it said it was medium and fruity. So we're going to try this. You only need like a cup. So it's about just over half the bottle that's going to go in and the whole bottle of wine, whole bottle of red wine. You can get a cheap red wine. I just don't like red wine. So I wanted to go with one that I actually like and I've tasted before. Then in terms of spices, you're going to need cinnamon sticks, whole cloves, and star of anise. Um, all of that was from Bulk Barn for $1.50. $1.50. I literally got like half a scoop of everything and just put it in there because I was like, when am I ever going to use any of these things ever again? So yeah, $1.50. I think that's the worst thing like going like doing a recipe buying all the ingredients you need only to throw them all away because you only needed it for the recipe so i definitely say if you have like seasonings you know like your seasonings like decanted into like little seasoning jars or you like to like get just ingredients to try new recipes definitely have a look in bulk barn especially for like baking and stuff like that because you can save a fortune instead of buying like massive amounts and it also decreases waste so i definitely definitely encourage that i also got oranges i think i got one but i might go out now and get a second one just for like garnish and i got blackberries and i wanted to get fresh cranberries but i couldn't find any so i'm actually gonna try and look now i'm gonna go out pop out and see if i can find any but i did get some dried cranberries which i feel like it's not gonna be the same but Listen, we gotta do what we gotta do, we gotta try. Everyone's gotta try. And then you need some kind of sweetener, brown sugar, maple syrup, honey, anything along those lines. You don't have to use brandy, you can use like your favorite drink, whatever it is, rum, vodka, gin, like whatever you want, you can use. But I wanted to try it. Brandy's like usually 
that cool that is you so i wanted to do the same thing plus brandy just feels very like warming and very like winter you know like you're just gonna have a glass of brandy i was gonna make dinner but i just thought you know painting and everything it would just be nicer to just kind of snack right so i'm gonna make a charcuterie board um i will most likely show you that too yeah it's currently just basically just gone off to 5 15 so i'm gonna pop out go and grab everything the mold wine needs to simmer ultimately to warm up for about an hour so the girls are coming like 6 30 7 ish so i want it to kind of just be like fully warm when they get here so i'd have to rewarm it but ultimately i just wanted to bring you guys with me have you involved while we paint eat charcuterie and drink mold wine and basically just have like a girls night in it's friday friday vibes so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you're not already otherwise i will check back in with you guys when i get back from the store i'm back from going out i didn't grab any orange i grabbed um just some like snacks chips and stuff like that so uh yeah let's go make this waiting for it to uh, finish it's been like 45 minutes now that it's been in the sorry about that so yeah I oh my god why am I getting so many messages so the mold wine let me show you the mold 
wine actually. So this is the mulled wine currently. It actually tastes really nice. It's like super sweet. It's like juicy. I think the dried cranberries actually worked. I think they just like swole back up. I uh, can't wait to drink it. Only thing I need to do now, it is now seven, literally seven o'clock. I need to make the charcuterie board. I just set up the table for us to paint. Uh, I'm gonna just like set it up on the side of us painting. And I think that's it. Like just pull your like chips into like a little snack bowl, that kind of stuff. Just get all like my snacks and bits together. I'm gonna turn off the uh, mulled wine actually because it's completely warm throughout. Tip is not to boil it. Do not let it boil. I had it on like medium low and it didn't boil but it's like steaming so i know it's really really hot now um so yeah it just smells very ar aromatic in my kitchen right now and the girls are on their way so they should be here in like 10 minutes or so so i will check back in with you to get their reactions on how the mulled wine is so yeah I thought you guys, what do you guys think? Ooh, like a warm hug. It's lovely. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's perfect temperature, by the way. Oh, perfect temperature. Thanks. Oh, Sweet nice. enough. Ooh, nice. Well, Sweet because... is a nice touch with it because it has a bit of a spice on it. Yes, it's nice. I just want to chug it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sick of that. Step by step painting net, guys. This is where we need to be. <laughs> What's he got wrong with him? <laughs> this is. Why do I have what on my mind? It ain't that you I think I Look, he's a reindeer. He's a reindeer. I did his antlers freehand too. I didn't even look at anything. I just yeah. guessed what antlers looked like. <laughs> Because there's, there's people out here whose beards don't connect. <laughs> we'll see what happens with this next. What's his name, Kyle? God knows what's happened. That's too much. And we call it a day.